The Song of the Healing Bells, written by Ryan Krawchuk, read by Bella, an AI voice. Copyright 2024, Ryan Krawchuk, all rights reserved. In the heart of Wonderhaven, where the leaves of the ancient oak tree shimmered with a golden glow, a small group of friends gathered beneath its branches. The breeze whispered softly through the town, but the mood among the friends was quieter than usual. Willa, Bella, Sammy, and Oliver sat in a cozy circle, noticing something was different about Lily, the shy lynx who had recently become their friend. Lily sat quietly, her soft gray fur barely stirring in the wind. Normally, she listened with a gentle smile while the others chatted, but today, her eyes were downcast, her paws fiddling nervously with the hem of her scarf. The friends shared a look, knowing something was wrong. Willa, her bright eyes full of concern, scooted closer. Lily, is everything okay? She asked gently. Lily looked up, her eyes clouded with worry. She took a deep breath, but the words seemed to stick in her throat. It's my dad, she whispered, her voice so soft they had to lean in to hear her. He's really sick, in the hospital. The friends exchanged glances of sympathy, their hearts heavy for their quiet friend. I don't know what to do, Lily continued, her voice breaking a little. I want to help, but I just feel so helpless. Bella, ever the energetic bunny, reached out and squeezed Lily's paw with her soft, fuzzy hand. You're not alone, Lily. We're here with you, she said, her voice filled with encouragement. Sammy, the organized squirrel with his ever-present pouch, nodded solemnly. There has to be something we can do to help, he said thoughtfully, already trying to make a plan. Oliver perched on a low branch, fluffed his snowy feathers, and spoke gently. Sometimes just being there for someone is the most important thing, he said wisely. But maybe we can do even more. Lily blinked at them, her eyes brimming with gratitude but also uncertainty. Do you really think there's something we can do? Willa, who had been quiet, suddenly perked up, her imagination already swirling with ideas. I've got it, she exclaimed, her eyes sparkling with excitement. I remember hearing about something, something magical that could help. Bells, special bells that bring comfort and healing. Maybe, maybe we could find them and bring them to your dad. Lily looked at her with wide eyes. Healing bells? She asked, her voice barely a whisper. Yeah. Willa said, her enthusiasm contagious. We could ask Willow Bright for help. She knows all about the old magic and the land. If anyone can guide us, it's her. Bella bounced in place, her ears twitching with excitement. That sounds like a great idea. Let's go talk to Willow Bright and see if she knows where we can find the bells. Lily hesitated, still unsure, but the warmth of her friend's support filled her with hope. You'd do that for me? She asked quietly. Of course we would, Sammy said with a determined nod. You're our friend. Lily smiled softly, the first smile she'd shown all day. Thank you, she whispered, her heart a little lighter. And with that, the friends stood together, ready to embark on a journey of healing, friendship, and hope. The friends made their way to the quiet grove where Willow Bright, a mystical guardian of Wonderhaven, lived. As they approached, the scent of sweetgrass filled the air, and Willow Bright stood peacefully near a small fire, her ancient eyes watching them. I've been expecting you, she said in her calm, soothing voice. Lily, shy but desperate for help, stepped forward. My dad is very sick, and I don't know what to do, she whispered. Willa, always eager, added, We heard about healing bells. Can we find them to help? Willow Bright nodded slowly. Yes. The bells you seek are part of the forest's ancient magic. Their power comes not from the metal, but from the harmony of the land and your intentions. If you truly wish to help, I will guide you to them. The friends listened closely as she explained that the bells were used in a ritual known as the Song of the Winds, a magical event that calls upon the healing forces of the forest. 
With Willow Bright leading the way, the friends stepped deeper into the enchanted forest. The trees grew taller and closer together, their thick branches forming a canopy that made the sunlight flicker softly through the leaves. The path was winding and uneven, but the group followed closely behind the ancient guardian, trusting in her wisdom. We must approach this journey with care and respect, Willow Bright said, her voice deep and steady. The forest knows our intentions, and it will guide us. The friends exchanged glances, each determined to do their part. After a short time, they reached a moss-covered archway at the entrance of a hidden grove. The stones of the arch were marked with strange, swirling patterns, and beyond it lay a dense tangle of vines that blocked their path. Willa, her eyes lighting up with curiosity, stepped forward. I think this is a puzzle, she said excitedly. Look at the stones. I bet we have to move them in a certain way to open the path. The others watched as Willa examined the stones, her quick mind racing with possibilities. If we push them in this order, she murmured, the vines might untangle themselves. With a little help from Sammy to organize her ideas, Willa's cleverness soon revealed the right sequence, and the vines began to part, revealing the path ahead. Good thinking, Willa, Bella cheered, bouncing on her paws. As they continued deeper into the forest, the group began to grow tired. The air was thick with the scent of damp earth, and the path seemed to stretch endlessly before them. Bella, always full of energy, noticed her friends slowing down. Come on, everyone, she called out, her voice full of enthusiasm. We can't stop now, we're almost there. Her lively spirit spread through the group, lifting their spirits. Even when they felt weary, Bella's boundless energy kept them moving forward, one step at a time. Sammy, ever organized, kept a close eye on their supplies. He made sure they had enough food and water, stopping to adjust his pouch or check their route whenever necessary. We don't want to get lost, he reminded them, studying a map Willow Bright had given him. Stay close, and we'll make it through this. As the path became more difficult, with roots and branches crisscrossing their way, Oliver used his quiet wisdom to keep everyone focused. When the others grew frustrated or impatient, he reminded them to slow down and stay calm. Patience. He hooted softly. We're getting closer, but we need to be careful. Lily walked quietly at the back, her heart full of gratitude for her friends. She didn't say much, but each time they overcame a challenge, her bond with them grew stronger. She knew that without their help, she could never make this journey alone. With every step, she felt more supported, and though her worry for her father remained, the presence of her friends brought her comfort. After what felt like hours of navigating through the enchanted forest, the trees began to thin, revealing a clearing bathed in soft, dappled light. In the center of the grove stood a wooden staff adorned with feathers and beads, gently swaying in the breeze. Hanging from the staff were several small silver bells, their surfaces glinting faintly, as if catching the light of the sun in their delicate curves. The friends stood in awe, feeling the quiet power of the place. There was a sense of deep peace in the air, as though the grove itself was alive, watching over them. These are the healing bells, Willow Bright said softly, her voice full of reverence. They have been part of the forest for as long as Wonderhaven has stood. Their sound calls upon the ancient magic of the land, but their power comes from the love and hope you bring to this moment. If your hearts are filled with these, the bells will carry your wishes to the earth and sky. Lily gazed at the bells, her heart pounding. She knew this was her chance to help her father, but the responsibility felt heavy. She glanced at her friends who smiled back at her, their support filling her with strength. Under Willow Bright's direction, the friends began to prepare for the ritual of the singing winds. Sammy, ever meticulous, stepped forward first. He approached the bells carefully, aligning them so they hung in perfect order. They should be just right, he said, making sure each one had enough space to ring clearly. His thoughtful attention showed the respect he held for the bells and their purpose. Meanwhile, Bella darted around the grove, 
her energetic paws gathering wildflowers and soft grasses from the edges of the clearing. With her boundless enthusiasm, she decorated the space around the staff, weaving bright petals into the grass. This will make everything feel more alive, she said, smiling. Her vibrant spirit brought a touch of color and life to the sacred setting. Willa, her eyes bright with inspiration, began to hum softly to herself as she wandered. We need a song, she said suddenly. Something simple, something from our hearts. Her imagination leaped from idea to idea, and soon she had crafted a gentle melody, weaving together the sounds of the forest with the rhythm of the bells. As she taught it to her friends, the song became a reflection of their wishes for healing. Oliver, always thoughtful, stood next to Willowbright, watching closely. What does each part of the ritual mean? He asked quietly, wanting to understand the deeper purpose. With patient wisdom, Willowbright explained how the song, the flowers, and the bells were all connected. They weren't just actions. They were expressions of care and love, ways of reaching out to the ancient magic that bound Wonderhaven together. Finally, it was time. Lily, though nervous, took a deep breath and stepped forward. Her friends gathered around her, the soft song they had created filling the air. Her paws shook slightly as she reached for the bells, but with the warmth of her friends beside her, she found the courage to lift her hand and gently ring the first bell. Its sound was soft at first, but it soon grew, echoing through the grove in a calm, peaceful tone. With each chime, the song of the bells filled the air, and the friends' voices rose together, their hearts full of hope for Lily's father. The grove seemed to respond to their sincerity, the flowers swaying, the breeze carrying the notes far and wide. As Lily stood among her friends, ringing the bells, she felt a deep sense of peace wash over her. She didn't know if the bells would heal her father immediately, but she knew she had done something powerful, something full of love. And that, in itself, brought her comfort. With the ritual complete, the friends carefully took down the bells and followed Willowbright back through the enchanted forest. The journey home felt lighter, the weight of their worry lifted by the peace of the grove. Though they were tired from the long day, a quiet sense of purpose kept their steps steady as they made their way back to Wonderhaven. When they reached the town, they headed straight for the hospital where Lily's father was resting. Inside the small, peaceful room, the light was dim, and the soft hum of medical machines filled the air. Lily's heart raced as she looked at her father. But now, with the bells in her hands, she felt a calm she hadn't known before. Willowbright stood near the doorway, watching over them with a quiet smile. The friends gathered around Lily's father's bed, and without speaking, they knew what to do. One by one, they began to softly sing the song they had created in the forest, the gentle melody filling the room with warmth and comfort. Lily stepped forward, her paws steady, and rang the bells softly. The sound was soothing, the delicate chime spreading through the air like a peaceful breeze. Her father stirred, his eyes opening slowly. He smiled weakly, but the expression in his eyes was full of warmth and gratitude. The love and care behind Lily's actions were clear, and though the bells didn't heal him in an instant, the peace they brought was undeniable. Lily's heart swelled with hope. She didn't know what the future held for her father, but she could feel the power of the moment. The bells had brought calm, and in that calm, she found strength. Her friends smiled at her, their presence a reminder that she wasn't alone. Later that afternoon, the friends gathered under the grand oak tree in the center of Wonderhaven. The sun was setting, casting a golden light across the town, and the leaves above them rustled gently in the breeze. Willowbright sat with them, her ancient voice filling the space. Healing doesn't always happen the way we expect, she said softly. Sometimes, the greatest healing comes from the love we share, the support of friends, and the peace we find within ourselves. Lily listened, her heart full. She glanced at her friends, Willa, Bella, Sammy, and Oliver, who had stood by her side through every step of this journey. She felt a deep gratitude, not only for their help with the bells, 
but for the comfort they had brought to her heart. I don't know what will happen with my dad, Lily said quietly. But I do know I'm not alone. Thank you, all of you. The friends smiled, and Willa reached over to give Lily a gentle hug. You'll never be alone, she said. We're in this together, always. As they sat in the quiet of the evening, the wind softly carried the sound of the bells through the town, a gentle reminder of their journey and the strength of their bond. The chimes seemed to echo with hope, weaving through the branches of the oak tree and across the rooftops of Wonderhaven. The friends sat there for a while longer, simply enjoying the peace they had created together. Then, as the sun dipped below the horizon, they stood up, ready to head home. Together, they walked back to Lily's house, their footsteps in sync, knowing that whatever challenges lay ahead, they would always be there for each other. Come with me to a place so grand Where magic happens, just take my hand Villa Sammy, Bella Oliver